fingers crossed to see only good rides and only high scores, but um, we have to remember that uh, there's many things uh, that might happen during this horse riding event. Uh, but let's take a look at Yuri Kovalchuk, a representative of Ukraine on horse. Uh, Balu Boy, another very good horse. Uh, I think he's very happy with the horse that he drove because uh, it's a horse of um, Martina Armanasqui. Uh, of course, uh, I'm saying this because uh, she was very successful during the horse riding, collecting 300 points in a very good style. And uh, it's a very good ride as well, uh, a ride of Yuri Kovarchuk, rep representative of Ukraine, at least so far and now. Number seven, three more jumps to go. Number eight, and it's all fine. I think it's one of the best horses uh, of this competition. Uh, hopefully, it will be one of the horses of tomorrow's mixed relay competition. Uh, 300 points of Yuri Kovalchuk, representative of Ukraine. And uh, definitely at least sixth place after two events. Congratulations. Uh, this is his next opponent is Yuri Kovalchuk, representative of Ukraine. He's currently in fourth place with a score of 535 points. He was also successful at the parkour, 300 points for horse riding. Twenty seconds. Fifteen. Kovalchuk with priority. And he gets it. Ah, that was close. I think he thought that he gave the touch first, but it's Yuri Kovalchuk who wins in this bout, getting first two points for bonus fencing round, and Mutas Mohammed finishes uh, with six points for three wins. I'm just checking what was the difference between the brothers because they were they were on fifth and sixth. Oh, sorry, no, it's um, results from horse riding. Uh, so, Modas Mohammed was ranked eight after two events. So he's going to move one position uh, higher. Titas Puranas on the right side, next uh, opponent of Kovalchuk, and he's the winner of uh, this bout. Two points for Kovalchuk. Titas Puranas is waiting for Leo Boris, uh, representative of France. Mm, these two had the same number of points. In uh, ranking fencing round, a very high score, 240 points. Uh, that's a great achievement of uh, both of those athletes. And Puranas had a perfect ride. Here we have the results. Um, as I said, Radoslav Stoichev is still a leader, but the difference between him and lane number and one, Radoslav Stoichev from Bulgaria, but um, the entry time from qualification, so the time he had in qualification. Stoichev, lane two, Kolesar, lane three, Puranas, and lane four, Kovalchuk. Mihaly Kolesar should be the fastest one in final heat. Uh, the athlete on lane two, representing Hungary. And he's in front together with Yuri Kovalchuk. Sorry, Yuri Kovalchuk is supposed to be the fastest. Uh, two minutes and seven seconds, that's the result he got in the qualifications. Two minutes and ten seconds, that's the result of Mihaly Kolesar. But uh, so far, they are swimming next to each other. Let's see the opening time, 28.45, a little faster than in previous heat. And it ended up with two minutes and two seconds results. So that would be a great achievement of those athletes uh, to get close to this result. Third place. Titas Puronas, fourth place. As expected, Radoslav Stoichev, two minutes and 20 seconds, the time from uh, qualifications. I think he can go a little faster, but not 
as fast as uh, the leaders of this uh, final heat. Hard to say who's the leader right now. It looks like it's Kolesar, so lane two representing Hungary and a little behind Yuri Kovacuk, uh, Ukraine. The time uh, sub one minute in the halfway of the race and now they are getting closer to close 150 meters distance. Kolesar in front, Kovacuk in second, Puronas in third and Stoichev in fourth place. I think around two minutes and four seconds that will be the time at the finish line, but let's wait and see. A few more meters to close the time to stop it. 204.46, 205.33. These are two best, two best results of final heat. The winner of this heat is Mihaly Kolesa, representative of Hungary. Second place goes to representative of Ukraine, Yuri Kovalchuk, third place, two minutes, 13 seconds, point 63. Titas Puronas from Lithuania, and two minutes, 21 seconds, point 57. That's the time of uh, Radoslav Stoichev representing Bulgaria. Yuri Kovalchuk from Ukraine. Then 11 seconds after, Leo Boris from France. Third place, Lithuania, Titas Puronas, 19 seconds, Hungary, so who's going to get to the running course first. Unfortunately, as you can see, it just started to rain, so it's not going to be an easy competition for those athletes. Kolesar is off from the starting line. Next is uh, Yuri Kovacic from Ukraine and then Leo Boris from France, uh, the top three athletes of men's final competition. And we'll see what's their tactic on the first lap of run, if they will try to keep the distances between uh, each other or if they will try to close the gap and to get uh, close together and to work together uh, during this race. Now it's visible how big the distances between them are. Top three with a big advantage. Very fast start of El Gendi at the beginning of the race. Titas Puranas is in current fourth place. And here we are back with the leader, Mihaly Kolesar, was at the bottom of the screen. Second place, Yuri Kovacic in second. And Leo Boris in third. Top three athletes of men's final. And they already run 300 meters, which means 300 meters uh, is the distance they still need to run until they get to the shooting range for the first series of shooting. Mihaly Kolesar, our leader. Not the fastest run, uh, at least not at the beginning. I think he will speed up if it's necessary later on. But so far he keep a safe advantage over the others and he's uh, moving closer to the shooting range. I'm very curious how it's going to look. Um, it was so intense during the women's final. They were very successful at the shooting range. Very good results of women's. And now a bit more difficult conditions caused by rain. Wow, number six. Motas Mohammed moved from sixth place to fourth. That's a very solid start of Egyptian. And let's take a look at Mihaly Kolesar, a representative of Hungary, who's just taking his position at the shooting range. First series of shooting. And let's take a look. Clear shot at the beginning. One mistake, two green lights already. Three green lights. Nice round, four. And another mistake, 12 seconds, point 22. Not bad. Still, huge advantage. Kovacic has uh, two green lights, same as Boris. Uh, Vichen is moving to front. Kovacic with five, uh, 12 seconds, point 75. Ergendi and Vichen are taking another two positions, so that's the top four. And now it's going to be more visible how big the differences are. Uh, Mihaly Kolesar is in front, so we did not see him. Uh, Kovacic in second place, Vichen in third. Here is our leader. Wow. That's a huge advantage. That's going to make... That will let him to run comfortably, at least for um, for a bit. Uh, but look at these two. They are really speeding up, trying to get closer to Kovacic. And then later on, they will be chasing 
Kolesar. And there he is, uh, leader of men's final. 300 meters behind him. It's the second lap of run. And long, long, no one behind them. And here's his opponents. Yuri Kovacic in second place. Vichyan in third together with Argendi. Puronas is trying to, to keep up with these at least in front of him. But it's really difficult. The pace of this run is so impressive. Motas Muhammad, number six. He was uh, much higher in the ranking. Probably he was struggling at the shooting range during this first series of shooting. And now let's take a look. Uh, Mihaly Kolesar is getting closer to his position at the shooting range. Position number one, uh, same as his position in this race so far. Clear shot. Another one, two in a row, three in a row, four in a row. Perfect score, perfect result. Six. 0.66, that's, uh, I think this is one of the best results uh, of uh, this competition. Ben Sevician takes the second place, Mohamed el takes the third. That's the top three, so that's the medalists, the order of medalists for now. After two series of shooting, Mihaly Kolesar in front, so two Hungarians in front, Vician is in second, and Mohamed el in third. Uh, wow, what a race. We are watching. el moved moved to second place. We know that he's a very fast runner. Vician is on his back. He's not letting him to build any advantage. Leo Boris in fourth place. Sitas Pronas in fifth. Yuri Kovacuk in sixth place. We'll see what's going to happen during the next series of shooting. At least from places uh, for five and six, they are not really far behind. Anything can happen. Let's wait and see. Kolesar on his way to the shooting range. Well, this gap between Kolesar and El Gendi is getting smaller. That's an extreme speed of the run that the Egyptian shows to us. Same as Ben Sevician. Started from seventh place, now in third. Puronas moved to fourth place. Leo Boris in fifth. Kovalchuk in sixth. These are um, working together, but it all might get changed once they get to the shooting range for the third, second last series of shooting. Kolesar already at the shooting range. 6.66, that's his previous result. A perfect result. And now he's on the best way to do the same. Did, he did it again, 6.78, that's insane. How successful he is at the shooting range. El Genti in second place. Ben Sevician needs one more green light and he gets it. Uh, ben Sevician is in third place, who's going to be fourth. Uh, Yuri Kovacic in fourth place. Tidas Purana struggling with getting the last one and he gets it. Uh, fifth place for uh, Purana, sixth place for Borges. The top six of athletes. If Kolesar is going to do it one more time during the fourth uh, series, it's going to be, I think, one of the best results in shooting I've ever seen. Um, but uh, we'll see. Lots of pressure. He's still in front, but he knows that El Gendi is behind him, and he's doing absolutely all he can to close this gap between himself and the leader. So this is something that, that's, that's really difficult. I wouldn't like to be in their shoes right now. Uh, Mihaly Kolesar in front. Let's take a look how big this advantage is. Still waiting for a dandy, and there he is. There he is. It's around 15 meters. Not that much. Not much at all. 
Vitian in third place, Kovacic in fourth, Puronas is fifth, and Boris in sixth. Let's see who's going to keep his nerves still. Last series of shooting ahead. Kolesar on his way to the shooting range. What he does here is just is just insane and so impressive. Fingers crossed for Hungarian. Fingers crossed for Elgendi. One green light already. Two green lights. Three green lights. Four and five. Seven seconds. Wow. Ah, this is something. The top, the highest level of shooting that we are watching uh, here. So, um, Mihaly Kolesar in front, Argenti in second place. Let's wait for number three. Uh, Kovalchuk, Puronas and Boris, they all finished together. Vician was struggling. He lost his uh, third place. And now the battle for bronze is going to happen between three athletes. Wow, that, that's the race you really want to watch till the very end. And now look at Argenti, he's speeding up. This is a crazy speed. And the battle for third place, Body is in front, Kovacic in fourth, Puronas in fifth place. Here's the leader. He knows that Argenti is getting closer. 300 meters left. 300 meters left. I don't know how much energy Argenti has, but I think Kolesa knows exactly how much he needs to put in, the, in, in this race to win the gold. But anyway, uh, it's just <laughs> stressful to watch. Kolesar in front, Elgendi speeding up. What a speed. And Bori is in third place. He left uh, Kovalchuk behind his back. And now the battle for gold. Kolesar has one more turn before he gets to the finish line. And he does that. The gold medalist, the new junior world champion 2002. Mohamed El Jendi gets the silver medal and now let's take a look at Leo Boris, representing of France, secure a second medal for French team today. Bronze medalist of uh, Junior World Championships, Leo Boris. Uh, let me remind you that before uh, French team got uh, another medal, actually two medals. Gold medal of uh, Rebecca Castaudi in women's final and also uh, silver medal in team competition for France. Congratulations to the winners, to the medalists. Let me remind you one more time, the winner of uh, men's final during the Pentathlon Junior World Championships 2022 is Mihaly Kolesar. Representative of Hungary, second place goes to representative of Egypt, Mohamed El and third place bronze medal goes to representative of France, Leo Bodis. Congratulations. In the meanwhile, we are waiting for the athletes to finish uh, this laser run event. Uh, Giorgio Micheli, Radoslav Stoichev, Federico Alessandro. Matis Rocha. Melvin Perrier. And Hugo Floron. And that's it.